Hi, my little one. Hello, it's happening. It's finally happening. Come on, bring the box. Bring the box. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, bring that to me. Good little boy. Come on, that's nice. Thank you for that, little one. Thank you. Now get out. All right, so. What I was saying is that these are two prototypes I've been designing for. Hello friend and welcome back to another episode of Hype Video. All right, so today we will be opening these two prototypes. I've been waiting for over 500 days to open this box. Long story short, I promised myself to open them only when I will have a YouTube channel, which is the case actually. So I guess it's time. So a long time ago, I've made a PC case called the Tiny Boy. What a beautiful case. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that I was the first one to make this kind of weird looking vent. That's the little Stan. It's reminding me of so many great memory. We're not done yet with that, trust me. And then after this one, people wanted a version with a flex at EX inside. So I made it. And this one is the Mini Boy. Ugh, what a heavy little one. Ah, beautiful. You don't really see well, right? Okay, give him one second. Ah, oh, man. I really love this case a lot. What's inside, though, are two very amazing projects. I don't care about unboxing. I actually don't watch them. But this time it's special. It's a prototype. My friend, we're going to open and assemble this case. But before that, we're gonna open this one first and take off all of the component inside so that we can move them to the other. Hello, this is the commentator. I've been called for a quick job. So uh, I need to comment a video about the PC case. A PC case, just like any other PC case. This is a PC case from Hyperio. Lots of wire inside, we'll see that after. This is a GTX 1070, always good in 2023. This is the stand, a simple stand, old school DVI. Oh yeah, a pretty good looking case in my opinion. Oh yeah, that's just my opinion. This is the logo, a little boy. You can insert a push button in his face. The same button as on the front, this one. The simple one, it's really, it's really round. Oh, this finger is also very wrong. Now on top you have, you have a handle. I call it handy, handy the handle. It's fixed with this angled bracket, aluminum one. There's two of them here, but there's also many other below. Oh wow, look, those are standoff. I love standoff, they are very long, I love them. This is a screw, but guess what's under the screw? A standoff, yes, a lovely standoff. Oh wow, there's also another one. Lots of standoff, good looking case actually. It's not very big, it's as tall as my hand, but yeah, a good looking case. I think we're done here, that's a good looking case, that's all. Ah, uh, hello, it's me again. I got called because I didn't finish the job. So, uh, here we go. This is the teardown. Let's go for the teardown. So, you start by removing the two screw on top to free Handy. Always free Handy. Handy is a good guy. Once you're done, you flip the case and remove the four screw on the back. Ah, oh, man, since the beginning, I'm only looking at this injury. Please do something about it. Thank you. Alright, that's better. So, after removing all the screw, you can remove the stand. That's a nice looking stand. Oh, always a stupid screw to go inside, right? Now you just lift the case and... Whoa, that's a lot of wire. Look at that. So many wire. Definitely lots of wire in there. I told you, by the way. I told you at the beginning. There's lots of wire in here. Okay, never mind. Remove the push button by removing, well, wire again. And now you, you, you have a push button with the front panel. The round push button. Very good, very good looking. The wire of the button, four of them, two for the switch, two for the LED. Oh, by the way, thank god you don't have dirty fingernail. Beautiful standoff in plain view. Okay, we need to remove them, four of them, on each side. Hey, yo, well, what do you want? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm done soon, so just get out. And now we unscrew the Flex ATX, which should come off easily. Now you lift the case and... Yep, that's all. Look at that. What a beautiful, well-packed PC case. So many components. It's so dense, I love it. Goodbye, I'm done here. Hey, guess who's back? 
Yeah, I didn't miss you either. Unfortunately, the teardown isn't done yet, so let's get back to it. Those are the angled bracket I was talking about. Now we we'll remove the, the, the flex ATX and the CPU pin and the GPU uh, wire, I guess. Uh, f why am I doing this? This is a flex. It's very good looking. It's black. It's, it's completely black. And here is the motherboard, a very good looking motherboard with Noctua cooler on it. DDR4 memory, how fast? Never mind. Now we flip the case and oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. A GTX 1070. Back then Nvidia was good and affordable. Oh, here, here is the PCI Gen 3 riser. I have 10 of them in stock if you want, but I guess they're outdated so I'm an idiot for keeping them. Hold on, double standoff, that's something. Yeah, remove this and you have the motherboard that's free now. <coughs> so, so we do that on the rest of the standoff and, and, and the motherboard should come off easily. What a beautiful motherboard, very cool. And yeah, the last part is this PC riser. Just, uh, uh, just unplug it and, and we are done, I think, yeah. Oh wait, we have to assemble back the case so that we can throw it in the box and never open it again. Even if there's only one unit of this miniboy in this world, I absolutely don't care. Yeah, the most interesting part is the project stand for. It's what's coming up next. So yeah, here is it, here is it. So I think, I think I'm done here. Goodbye, I won't come back. Goodbye. Hi friend, I'm back. The commentator was fired. He wasn't really professional, probably because he was working for free. Sorry for that. Friend. Unfortunately, there is a problem. I'm running out of time. This video should have been released in January, but here we are in February. And like I said in my last video, I wanted to make at least one video per month. Ugh, I guess I'm not really good with deadlines. So as half of the video is done, instead of making you wait, I've decided to release it to you. Happy birthday. Don't worry, I'm planning to release part two this month. As for now, why not take a look at the prototype virtually? So here we go. Hello, and welcome to the showcase of my prototype. Or should I say in this case, my show prototype. <laughs> yeah, I know, it was a good one. Um, this case is made by... Oh, wow, what's funny? Hey, what's happening? Little one, what are you doing here? Let's stop, you, you can break the face. Oh, oh, I got it, I believe that. Little one, stop, stop, stop. Sometimes I wonder what this channel will look like in a few years. Anyway, let's be serious for once. The Stand 4 is a small form factor PC case with a volume of 6.67 or 7.1 liters, depending if you count handy. So it's a pretty small case that I've designed almost two years ago. I was sharing the progress to my community on my subreddit, r slash Hyperium Tech. As an inventor, I really loved to explain how I was thinking. This picture illustrated perfectly. I will do the same in this channel, as I'm sure that many of you have fantastic idea but don't really know where to start. We will do some crazy stuff. Check my last video to see a preview. Back to stand 4. The goal wasn't to make the smallest case possible like with a tiny boy, it was just about being unique. I also wanted to have a symmetrical case this time, because I didn't really like the two different sides from the last model. Inside you can see a very compact but typical sandwich layout, however the power supply is elsewhere, but I will come back to it later. For the clearance, we have up to 50mm for the CPU cooler and up to 200mm for the 2 slot GPU. Yep, this case was definitely designed in the past. Hmm, but hey, what if I tell you that Stinger 6 will be a smaller PC case with unlimited clearance and a negative volume. You can't believe that? Well, just keep an eye on me. Looking at the frame, we have some interesting part. The two very well vented panels are the same but mirror it. When removed, they give a clear access to both chambers of the case. The front does also have its own front panel, I guess. I did so because I wanted to make some custom panel with different material. I added this middle line with however weak intersections so that I can trim it if I want, and that was smart, but not perfect. As I explained in the picture, all six panels are independent, so that you can remove them if needed on every side. Practical, isn't it? For the power supply case, it can also be flipped upside down. 
nice to know, but it isn't optimal. These wings, let's say, are not very well designed, they're not fixed at their end so they can bend. I didn't think of an easy solution, but hey, they will do the job. And now guys, why stand for? Well, you have the answer here. This case is standing on 4 standoff. I love standoff, but as you can already see, there's more hole, so we can go up to 8. But I reduce it to 4 because I think it will be enough, and also because it's looking better. You can mix the placement of the standoff, though some of them will not work, like stand 1. However guys, what if I tell you that I can make this case stand on 0 standoff? Nothing but air, really. Then how? Mm, that's a surprise for the next video. And while I'm here, I will state that I will be the first one to do that in the world. And you can help me and be part of it. I keep telling you, we will do some crazy stuff. Speaking of stuff, do you remember the power lines from my last video? Well guys, I hate wire. And we are definitely going to solve this problem with the power lines. So imagine a case without wire. Another first one in the world. That's what I want to tell you again. Crazy, crazy stuff upcoming. And again, I really want you to be part of it. So think about joining us. And as this show project is now over, goodbye. And this video is now over. So thanks a lot for watching. We are 162 on this channel. Welcome to the new one, helping us to rise slowly but surely. This is what will make this channel epic. I'm grateful for this. And for sure, this channel is going to be epic. See you all very soon. Goodbye.